a new video in today's video i want to use these blueberry they are blue yes they're blueberries uh i had a mount like a proper i was like what are these <laughs> blueberry water decals from nail sugar i'm also going to be using flirty take me to mykonos baby blue and perfect white gel polishes from madame glam you can save 30 percent on madame glam using my code natmug30 um, I'm going to leave that the websites and discount codes will be in my link tree link down in the description box if you ever want to find a discount code if you think oh I wonder if Nat's got a discount code have a look in there and um, I've also got my Amazon storefront linked down below as well uh, but back to the nails I'm going to apply two coats of perfect white no no I'm not yes I am yes I am uh. <laughs> oh my gosh i'm gonna apply two coats of white to two of the nails and two coats of flirty to two of the nails it's up to you to decide what you do on the fifth nail um that's me as a nail tech saying use your creativity that's my challenge to you that's this is officially why i'm only doing four nails because i'm going to make you decide what to do on the fifth one <laughs> right i had to work out these decals, by the way, are from Nail Sugar, as you can see on the thingy there. Um, you can save 10% on Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10. Um, I am cutting out a like a section because I want to fill this whole nail with blueberries. But I was I was trying to do it so that I didn't like waste really any blueberries, but I kind of I probably wasted some blueberries to be honest, but I tried not to. But that's the strip, and I was like, oh yeah, that fits perfect. That's all right. That's not a bad size. I'm just going to... I'm just going to cut off the bit at the bottom because I don't want that black line on the... You know, on that. And then I'm also just trying to cut off a lot of the excess where there's, like, no blueberries on because I just feel like the less excess decal there is, the easier my life is sometimes. But that's not always true. But that's just because sometimes I like to make things awkward for myself. I don't mean to. It's just something that I'm very good at. <laughs> right. Clean your stamper with a lint roller if you have one or you can use some sellotape. Place your decal upside down on the stamper. And then I'm just going to dab the back with some water. Now the decal is going to soak up some of that water. And what's going to happen is the decal bit on the front is going to slide away from the backing after about it's funny some of them come away really quickly some of them you have to wait about 30 seconds like maybe not actually that long but some of them i'm literally only waiting about a few seconds and then it's like oh it's peeling off um but yeah i the, the decals are just so quick and then i've just got to carefully maneuver not really maneuver just stamp the decal onto the nail i did do it a little bit too far to the right because look, i left a bit of a gap here but i thought no one's gonna see that but they are because i just showed them <laughs> but anyway it doesn't matter i'm just gonna pretend it's not there for this nail sorry for the two nude nails i am i really like the flirty gel polish it's it's a really nice sheer nude and it's one of my favorites that i use a lot if i need a if i need like a smile line like not a smile line if i need like a nude base it's yeah i've drawn on my smile line and then using the brush from the bottle i'm just going to fill in the free edge then i'm going to grab my brush and i'm just going to fill in those bits where the, the smile line goes up just because i don't want to you know i'm just making it i'm just trying to be careful because i'll probably muck it up knowing me i'm going to do that on both of these nails and then I'm going to go back to the plain white nail. This nail, I thought, do you know what I haven't done for a long time? Like a plaid tartany nail. So I thought, we're going to do that with this bloob set. Because why not? I mean, what else? I'd, the only other thing I'd probably do is a marble. And I do those a lot. So I thought, do you know what? Today we're going to go with plaid or tartan. I think you say plaid, but I don't I don't know. To be honest, I'm not really that fussed. But you know exactly what I mean, so don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to do a thick-ish baby blue line. I have put some of the gel polishes that I want to use to create this nail onto my palette just to make my life easier. And some of you ask what brush I'm using. I don't usually say because it's not available anymore, but it 
it was the nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush it was like a collab brush between me and karen and um i love it i absolutely love it but it's not available anymore unfortunately um so i yeah i just think i'm not gonna tell anyone because you can't get it and i just don't want to make people sad because honestly you're missing out i love this brush so much <clears throat> now i've probably just made you really sad so i'm gonna shut up now i'm doing a light no it's not a light blue line it's a dark blue line using that take me to mykonos color i'm doing a thinner line down this side now you can go over that blue line that i've tried to miss it doesn't really i don't think it really matters but for some reason i thought you know i'm gonna make my life slightly harder and avoid that blue that blue line that 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 baby blue line and then we're just going to do another one across the bottom here like a thin line this time i'm going across it because i'm wild <laughs> she crazy <laughs> i'm not really and then i thought i'd do another one along the top again going straight across the blue line i don't know why there is no rhyme or reason to this you could just you could just go across all of them if you wanted as far as I'm aware. Um, but I decided to do it, like, do it like that. Pop that in the lamp. And give it a cure. Um, we haven't finished with it. But we'll come back to it in a minute. Right, I'm going to cut out two of the same size little bloob clusters. I call them bloobs. <laughs> Reminds me of boobs. But they're bloobs. Do you know what I mean? I just, yeah, weirdo. Weirdo. Um, I'm going to do the same stamper method that I did with the long nail and dab it to make sure there's like most of the excess water's off. And then I decided to stamp them just above the smile line. Sort of about there I'm going to aim for. Ta-da! How cute is that? I just think these are the cutest. Do the same thing on the other nail. And then I think now is the time that I top coat. Yes, it is. And obviously because it's me I'm, i've reached for my matte top coat this is madam glam's velvet matte top coat it's gorgeous once it's cured it does feel nice and soft and velvety i love it so i'm going to do this on all of the nails if you or your client prefer shiny by all means do it shiny i just do what i prefer because it's my channel do you know what i mean i, I don't have a client <laughs> So I can choose what top coat I use. I'm quite fortunate in that sense. But do whatever you or your client likes. The last thing I'm going to do is apply some detail with this Madame Glam Gold Gel Paint, which I absolutely love. It's one of my most favouritest ever gel paints of all time. It also doesn't have a tacky layer. So once we've painted it on, we don't have to re-top coat the nail and it stays beautifully shiny. I'm going to outline our smile lines with this. I just think it's lovely. I love it. I also want to use the gold with the hibiscus decals that karen's just released as well she's got like the hibiscus have got like these sort of like orangey yellowy mustardy stems coming out of them and i thought oh that would look quite nice if they were like gold do you know anyway i'll i haven't done it yet but i've got it written down anyway um this one i'm doing um a, a, it's not silver it's gold just one line straight down sort of again i just winged it wherever it went that's where it went and then on this now i decided to put some tiny little gold little just little dots between between the bloobs the blueberries do you call what do you call them do you just call them blueberries or do you shorten the name and call them bloobs I just love bloobs. I don't particularly like eating them. I mean, they're okay. I'd hide them in food. Like, I'd have them with yogurt, with honey. But they're not, you know, I wouldn't... Anyway, pop that in the lamp and this is them done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Websites and discount codes will be below. God bless. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. We got there in the end. Love you. Bye. <laughs>